Okay, we're looking at doing these related rate problems that I gave you for homework. Uh, it was choose any five that you wanted. So I'm going to go through and uh, do as many as I can. So for number 22, uh, the formula for a volume of a cone is... Find the rate of change of the volume if dr dt is 2 inches per minute and uh, h equals 3r uh, and they want you to find it in two different situations when r is 6 and when r is 24. So we are going to Oh, and they also told us, sorry, the rate of change of the radius. I'll write that over here. That's two inches per minute. Okay, so um, the problem is going to be if I take the derivative of this volume, the static volume equation as it is, uh, I would get three rates. I would get a dv dt, a dr dt, and a dh dt. That is a problem because we only have dr dt and we're looking for dv dt. So we need to get rid, we can't have a dh dt, we can't have the rate of change of the height. So what we have to do is eliminate the variable h in the original equation or be able to substitute for it. So we are going to um, take this equation that relates the height and the radius and we want to solve, we want only R's left so we'd have to solve it for H. Well in that case it's already solved for H. So we're going to make that substitution for H That's our volume formula for this particular cone because it has that ratio where the height is equal to 3 radii. Um, so I can simplify this. The 1 third times the 3 becomes 1. Uh, the r squared times the r becomes r cubed. So there's our static volume formula for this cone. So then I take the derivative with respect to time. So let me start that over. And that's what we get. There are now three unknowns. You could think of these as your three variables. So we're going to substitute in what we know and what we don't know. We're looking for dv dt. When r is 6, that's our first situation. And we know dr dt is 2 inches per minute. So then when I simplify, I get what dv dt equals. Um, so I've got 3 pi times 36 times 2, and that's inches per minute uh, cubed, inches cubed per minute. Um, that's because I should have put inches on the 6 when I plugged in the radius. So that should be 6 inches, and then when I square it, it's inches squared, times the other inches makes inches cubed. So I get uh, 6 times 36. Uh, give me a second here. Can I get the calculator out? 6 times 36. 108 pi inches cubed per minute. That's when the radius is 6. When the radius is 24, we still use the same related rates equation. But we plug in 
uh, 24 instead. Here it is, 3 pi, 24. Oh, and I won't make the same mistake again. Inches squared um, times dr dt, which we know is 2 inches per minute. So then dv dt equals uh, 24 squared is 576, so 3 pi times 576 inches squared times 2 inches per minute. So then we've got 576 times 6 is 3456 inches uh, pi. inches cubed per minute. And those are the answers for that one.